Hello everyone, it's me, it's Clayton again. So, based on my fan request that I got after my review of the pilot of My Little Pony Friendship is Magic, I decided that I'm going to review every single two-parter. Every single episode split into two parts, done usually in the beginning or the end of each season of My Little Pony. So, I'm going to review the season two pilot. Well, the, the season two opener, I should say. The Return of Harmony. So, this episode starts off with a field trip being, being, being provided for the class of the Ponyville Elementary School kids when, when the Crusaders, Cutie Mark Crusaders, get in an argument which unintentionally causes a spirit called Discord to be released. Now, Discord refers to a lack of harmony between people. So, of course, this lack of harmony between the three crusaders over a very trivial manner, might, might I add, causes Discord to burst out of his stony prison, and it allows him to terrorize Ponyville by creating a bunch of random events, such as causing cotton candy clouds to pour down chocolate rain. Yeah, as if that wasn't a big enough meme at the time. It, he causes animals to transform into weird combinations of animals, he causes a bunch of insanity to go around Ponyville, and of course, Twilight, Rainbow Dash, Applejack, Fluttershy, Pinkie Pie, Rarity, etc. have to go after him in order to stop Discord. Now, unfortunately, they don't have the elements of harmony with them, so our six main characters have to go around Ponyville to try and find the elements of harmony, all the while surviving all of the insan insanity brought forth to them, to, them, to them by Discord. And the first part actually has them go through a hedge maze, where each member of the main six ends up as a discorded version of themselves, meaning they re act in the opposite way that they would usually. For example, the usually honest Applejack becomes a compulsive liar, the usually kind and sweet Fluttershy turns into a jerkish bully. Rainbow Dash, who's originally originally one of the most loyal of friends, becomes a selfish one. Pinkie Pie, whose element, element of harmony is laughter, become, becomes an irritable little clod. And Rarity, the, the element of generosity, becomes as greedy as they come. So, when Twilight eventually does find the elements of harmony, they don't work out, both because of the, of the lack of harmony between her friends and because of the fact that Rainbow Dash just abandons them near the end of part one. So it's up to Twilight to reform her friends back to their original personas and defeat Discord. So, do I like this episode more than the original pilot? I do. I mean, it is an improvement. The animation is absolutely gorgeous. And, and even today, it's still amazing to see half of these images that Discord throws at, at our main characters. And of course, Discord himself is an excellent antagonist, voiced by John Delancey, who Star Trek fans might notice is actually the actor who played Q in Star Trek Gen Next Generation. And Discord is essentially the My Little Pony version of Q. And about as crazy, insane childlike and downright mischievous as you'd expect. John Delancey's voice brings a ton of personality to the character and he sounds almost exactly how you'd expect a spirit of harmony, disharmony and chaos to, to sound. Also I think the story here is a lot stronger as the pacing is much much better. Part one Set, sets up events that cause the members of the main six to go into their discorded personas. And even though it's still a tiny bit rushed in part two to see Twilight bring them back to their original personas, they still take more time than they did in part one. Plus, I just love seeing, I just love the message that they throw at us as well. That friendship isn't always easy, and sometimes friends might get into conflicts, but there's no denying that friendship is worth fighting for. One of my only flaws with this episode is the fact that 
it really misses out on a lot of opportunities for character development. For example, when Fluttershy is about to get, to get her Discord persona, she actually resists it for quite a while, and whereas the other ponies eventually succumb to their desires and succumb to the illusions that Discord throws at them, Discord just sort of touches Fluttershy and she instantly becomes cruel, which seems like cheating. I get that he was frustrated, but that just seems like a cop-out. And when Twilight's, you know, reforming her friends one by one, other than seeing the full process for both Applejack and Rainbow Dash, the processes for Rarity, Pinkie Pie, and Fluttershy are completely rushed over, as they, they're just in a montage one by one that ruins any chance for character development. It's not bad, it's just the episode could have been one of my favorite could have been my absolute favorite two-parter when really it's just a large improvement over the first one, though still not perfect. Also, I feel that Discord's... the way Discord was defeated at the end was a bit too easy. I mean, I get that he's supposed to be arrogant, which I probably would be too if I had... if I was able to trounce the main six at every opportunity that, like, he was, but... The problem is every single My Little Pony villain seems to get defeated because of their arrogance. Nightmare Moon gets defeated because of it. Queen Chrysalis gets defeated because of it. And trust me, I'll get to that later when I review Canterlot Wedding. And now, and Discord also gets defeated because of his own arrogance. And considering that the same thing happened to him once he was, once he was defeated by Celestia and Luna, which we see in a flashback in the season four premiere. I'll get to that too. It feels like it's a bit too easy. But still, it is an improvement. It has excellent animation, an incredible story, great action, and a, a well-done message. So, in my opinion, I give The Return of Harmony a 9 out of 10. See you later.